guys front wheel removal on the Cub Cadet got a little dust cover you pull it off sometimes it can be a bit of a bear to get off but try not to tear it up and if you pull that off and you see some graphite looking stuff fall out of there it's plastic from where those plastic bushings they put in there where okay so that exposes a cotter pin and I'll straighten it out and it's looking like it's broken half so I'll probably replace it pliers straighten it out Okay, flange comes out, you see which way. And then, oh yeah, before I pull that off, let me show you. See the slop in the wheel? This thing should have roller bearings on it. Look, look at all that slop. Okay. So, we pull the wheel off. And it exposes the back of the hub. It left the flange on there, the plastic flange. I'll show you in a minute. So, it's quality right there, gang. Quality. Look, it's even got a grease fitting. So, and the one in the front. Let's see how that works. It's top notch, buddy. Okay. Inner and outer. All right, guys. So I got a set of four of the new bushings the plastic bushings i think off amazon or something for a four pack look for the four pack you'll that's your best bet now these new bushings are a good bit tight to get into the hub but i took a rubber mallet and gently persuaded it in on the other side and it worked fine and then they fit, they fit over the shaft good. So what I'm going to do now is I'll take the shaft with a rag and I'll get it cleaned up and lube it with just a little bit of 10W30. And uh, I'll, I'll fully grease it later at a later date. For right now, I'm just going to throw a little light oil on it. And put that on but I'll uh, press those down in the hub with a rubber mallet I right, guess so when you go to put your new bushings in I mean anybody can make a mistake and put them in backwards but uh, being is that you got to hammer these in just remember <clears throat> so the one with the, the grease fitting goes on the back side of the wheel just remember the one the back side's the deeper side and you don't have the the valve stem sticking through the wheel and then the larger the longer bearing surface goes on the interior of the hub with your zerk pointing outward so i'll get this and drive it in with a mallet There's your inner. Let's start the outer. Oh, 
All right, we'll just check to make sure our Chinese comrade sent us the right size piece, which I already checked them. But it fits. Let's we'll see if it cleaned the slop up any. A little bit. It's a good deal better than it was, but it's still not a set of bearings. But I'm going to pull this back off. I'm going to lube the flange, or the shaft rather, put it back together. I already got the shaft cleaned and lubed up. I'm going to put the wheel on. Well, it's still not great. And the, the ball joints, they're tight. There's no slop in there. It's just these... Yeah, I don't know. Man. We'll see. All right, we'll put our... backer on there. Got a new cotter pin. And I'll take one of those lips. I usually start at first, like on the bottom, and then just work it around it. Bingo. All right, well, it's got new bushings, new fan gear. The steering, it couldn't be any tighter. It wasn't, as, you know, that tight from the factory. The gear up under, the pending gear and the fan gear up underneath is as tight as you can get. So, we shall see.